What's going on guys? It is Adrian Hawkins of HawkFit bringing you the final video in our hypertrophic workout program. And obviously, since it's our last video in this series, it is going to be shoulders. Shoulders is probably one of my favorite workouts. It's relatively quick compared to a leg or a chest day. You get in, you bang on some weight, and you get out. That being said, I also keep uh, shoulders as a day of its own. So some people like to include shoulders uh, on other days. Uh, some people like myself do not. However you do it, that's fine as long as you're getting in the gym and you're lifting. That being said, if you were pressed for time over the course of the week or you had a, an upcoming vacation, you could theoretically just put this workout on another day, probably leg day, and then you would be good to go. Uh, that being said, one of my main focuses for shoulder day is some sort of overhead press. Um, me just coming off of uh, that lower back tweak, I usually focus on a, a heavier barbell overhead press. And one of the things I like to do is do that for either sets of 8 to 10 and I will try to press it um, somewhat heavy or I will build up to somewhat uh, a heavy set uh, and the reason for that is because if I know I can bang out somewhere from 6, 8 to 10 then I know that my one rep max will be much stronger than what I'm pushing right now and Obviously, with the back tweak, uh, I haven't been able to press as heavy as I want to, but that's fine with me because I don't have to. I don't have anything that's coming up uh, outlined in my future, so you know I can take the time now, recover, come back slowly into it, um, while at the same time still kind of keeping myself focused and getting ready for the time that my back does feel healed and ready to um, get back to the 225 on the overhead press. Um, that being said, since it's a relatively quick workout, as you can see, I was dinking around with some different camera angles and not all of the angles worked out. Some of them I was kind of cropped off, some of them I was not centered, but that's what happens when you go into the gym solo with the camera and you're trying to get your shoulders and it's a, it's a pretty hard thing to film uh, especially um, going by yourself and getting the right movement so you guys can see like all the lines and the muscles working and I I also wore a bad shirt I should have wore a different one so you could actually see the mechanical movements on the shoulders and usually for shoulders I will have as you'll, you'll see it in this program that in the comment box but I will have or not the comment box but the description box I will have at least one sort of heavy overhead pressing whether that is with a barbell or a dumbbell and actually this past week I just got a PR so I did three sets of 10 with a seated dumbbell press at 100 pounds and I've been looking to get to 110 pounds but all the gyms I go to they don't have 105s and the 10 pound jump per shoulder is just too much so I've got to figure out something until I uh, until I can get there and that being said this workout bang it out let me know if you like it it should be uh, short and sweet but it should put some meat on your shoulders until then thanks for watching stay tuned